Now today, I'm coming to the climax, which is extremely important. I want you to be listening and following me very carefully. I'm going to lead you step by step through the prayer that you need to pray. And I'm going to do it this way. First of all, I'll pray the prayer myself and let you listen. Then the second time, I'll lead you to say the prayer after me, step by step. Now I'm going to say it myself first because I'm not asking you to do something following me blindly. I want you to have an intelligent understanding of what you'll be doing. So I'm going to say the prayer and you can think it over and decide in your heart if you want to say that prayer. Because you're going to have to make the commitment. It's going to have to be your faith. And remember, you'll be praying not to me, but to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just giving you the prayer to pray to him. All right, now I'm going to say this pattern prayer right through once. I'll say it slowly and carefully. You listen. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are the Son of God and the only way to God. That on the cross you died for my sins and that you rose again from the dead. That on the cross also you were made a curse that I might be redeemed from the curse and receive your blessing. I trust you now for mercy and forgiveness and I commit myself from now on by your grace to follow you and obey you. I ask you to forgive and blot out any sins committed by me or by my ancestors that expose me to a curse. If people have harmed me or wronged me, I forgive them as I would have God forgive me. I renounce all contact with Satan or with occult practices or with unscriptural secret societies. If I have any contact objects that link me to these things, I promise to destroy them. And now with the authority you have given me as a child of God, I release myself from every curse that has ever come upon me or affected me in any way. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, this second time, I'm going to say the prayer through once more, slowly, phrase by phrase, and I'll pause after each phrase to give you ample time to say it after me. This time, I'm inviting you to say it through after me, phrase by phrase. Turn your heart and mind toward the Lord Jesus. Focus on Him. Remember you're praying to Him, not to me. If you're in a place where you can pray out loud, it's better to do so. Otherwise, just say the words under your breath. But remember, you're not praying with me, you're praying after me. Are you ready? Then say these words after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are the Son of God and the only way to God. That on the cross you died for my sins, and that you rose again from the dead. That on the cross also, you were made a curse, that I might be redeemed from the curse and receive your blessing. I trust you now for mercy and forgiveness. And I commit myself from now on by your grace to follow you and obey you. I ask you to forgive and blot out any sins committed by me or by my ancestors that expose me to a curse. If people have harmed me or wronged me, I forgive them as I would have God forgive me I renounce all contact with Satan or with occult practices or with unscriptural secret societies. 
If I have any contact objects that link me to these things, I promise to destroy them. And now, with the authority you have given me, as a child of God, I release myself from every curse that has ever come upon me or affected me in any way. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Now, Jesus has heard your prayer. Receive your release by faith right now. The simplest way to do that is just to begin to thank God because thanksgiving is the simplest and purest expression of faith. Accept your release as an accomplished fact. If there's any kind of strange emotional or physical reaction that you go through, don't let that frighten you. That's a good sign. It means God is moving to release you, even emotionally or physically. So you just keep thanking God. And I, as the Lord's servant, will pray a prayer for each and every one of you who've claimed your release. Now accept my prayer. Oh God, I thank you that you allowed Jesus on the cross to become a curse, that we, through faith in him, might be redeemed from the curse. I thank you for everyone that has prayed this prayer after me in faith, meeting your conditions. And Lord Jesus, I just claim their release for them now. As they are thanking you, I claim a full release. I break every satanic power over those lives. I revoke every curse. I declare that Satan is a defeated enemy, that all his claims have been canceled by the shed blood of Jesus. I pronounce them free in the name of Jesus. I declare that Satan's authority is revoked and canceled forever in the name of Jesus. Amen.